safety trick here is to use a razor blade or an X-Acto knife blade to rip seams out faster than using a seam ripper. Although you do need a seam ripper to start the process, get the knot done, and then you can take this and cut it off. So basically what happened is I made a mistake. I pieced it differently than I did the first piece and the pieces are lining up differently. So I'm going to rip out my seams and then redo the piecing. So I use a seam ripper to start with, take out my knot here. Um, I, I did pretty loose knots so it shouldn't be too much. And then I'm going to use basically a blade or in my case an X-Acto knife here to just kind of cut my seams. Or another way I've seen it done is uh, going right into here, right under here, scraping them off. But I'm not. I really don't like cutting out my seams, so I avoid it as much as possible, which I'm sure most seamstresses do. Um, but when it happens, sometimes it's nice to have just a nice little nifty little trick. Sometimes blades work better, sometimes they don't. It really depends on your project. don't obviously want to do too much ripping because that could end times stretch out your fabric, rip it. Um, this I'm being pretty loose with because I know I'm going to be ironing so I am not too terribly worried about it. Um,
seamed or together if you look closely in there. Pin that and work out from the center out to each side. Main seams get pinned working out. This will help you adjust as you go um, if you need to with tension. Hopefully you don't. Hopefully everything kind of lines up well. But it's possible you will have to get your pieces of fabric to line up better. You'll have to do some manual tension on the fabric. So that Now this is the fabric that's going to be going on the back. My daughter picked it out. It is a pink and shiny gold hearted minky fabric. Um, shiny gold hearted soft fabric. So she was snuggling with this. So that's why it's not folded up so well. But um, she's very excited. <laughs> Set that aside. Turn the iron on. and be sure to subscribe, hit that like button, hit the bell, leave a comment, and even check me out online at justincompany.com.